The Knowledge Library Daily Current Affairs News Headlines 24th November 2023 National News On day 3 Jammu and Kashmir was the focus of Union Territory at the Film Bazaar Knowledge Series sessions being held at the prestigious International Film Festival of India IFFI in Goa Minister of State for Personnel, Public Grievances and Pensions, Dr. Jitendra Singh on Thursday said that the Prime Minister has successfully used technology to give citizen-centric governance. Rescue operation is going on war footing to safely rescue 41 workers trapped in the collapsed Silakyara tunnel in Uttarakashi district of Uttarakhand. It is expected that all the workers will be evacuated soon. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday participated in Sant Mirabai Janmotsav at Mathura in Uttar Pradesh. The program was organized to celebrate the 525th birth anniversary of Sant Mirabai. Handicrafts, handlooms, and jewelry from across the globe are captivating visitors at the ongoing India International Trade Fair 2023 at Prakriti Maidan in the national capital. President Draupadi Murmu on Thursday paid homage to Guru Tegh Bahadur on the eve of his martyrdom day. Saint Meera Bai is one of the famous Hindu mystic poets of 16th century and a great devotee of Lord Krishna. In the ongoing encounter in the Bazimal area of the Dharmasal belt of Rajouri district five Indian army personnel including two captains sacrificed their lives and attained martyrdom even as troops shot dead to two highly ranked trained terrorists of Lashkar-e-Taiba. Stating that language, culture, and knowledge are the hallmarks of a country, Development Union Minister of State for Home Affairs Ajay Kumar Mishra has said the stature of the Hindi language has seen a massive rise in recent times. The Election Commission of India has issued notice to Congress MP Rahul Gandhi for his objectionable remarks about Prime Minister Narendra Modi during the Rajasthan Assembly elections in Ladakh. The Kargil Sentinel Brigade, in collaboration with the District Administration of Kargil. organized the Yom A Fateh Platinum Jubilee celebration at Khari Sultan Chu Sports Stadium in Kargil commemorating the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Kargil by the Indian Army External Affairs Minister DR S Jaishankar and Foreign Affairs and Tourism Minister of Seychelles Silvestri Reid Gond on Thursday met in New Delhi In a significant stride towards combating drug abuse, a memorandum of understanding (MO) was signed in New Delhi between the Department of Social Justice and Empowerment and the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. The center will soon come out with a new set of regulations to deal with deep fakes. In the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, security forces today recovered arms, ammunition, and explosives, including nine grenades and an IED, dropped by a drone along the line of control (LOC) in Jammu's Akhnur sector. Justice M. Fatima Bivi, the first female judge to be appointed to the Supreme Court of India, passed away today at the age of 96 in Kollam in Kerala. The central government has suspended Directorate General of Civil Aviation (DGCA) official Anil Gill with immediate effect. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has welcomed the agreement between Israel and the Palestinian terror group Hamas for the release of 50 hostages held in Gaza and a temporary pause in fighting. External Affairs Ministry on Wednesday said that during the course of recent discussions on India-US security cooperation, the US side shared some inputs pertaining to the nexus between organized criminals, gun runners, terrorists and others. State News In Manipur, security forces have been continuing search operations in different areas to thwart the attempts to disturb the law and order situation by armed miscreants. Union Minister of State for Textiles Darshana Jaldor said the establishment of PM Mitra Park in Navsari will propel the textile sector of Gujarat to new heights in employment generation. In Telangana, the campaigning has reached a peak while home voting is underway at a brisk pace. Top leaders of major parties have held electioneering in different constituencies on Thursday. The National Investigation Agency (NIA) on Thursday conducted simultaneous raids in Kemur Gaya and Aurangabad districts following Naxal related inputs in Bihar. Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal on Thursday announced the initiation of the process to withdraw first registered against individuals who violated the standard operating procedures SOC. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Y S Jagan Mohan Reddy on Thursday disbursed 82 crore rupees under the YSR Kalyan Mastu and YSR Shadi Tohfa schemes to meet the marriage expenses of poor people from SC, Cent, BC, minority and other communities virtually from his camp office. 
Pune's district collector Dr. Rajesh Deshmukh on Thursday flagged off the information, education and communication IC ones from Ambega and Baramti. Heavy rain lashed across several parts of Kerala last evening, leaving many places in the southern and central parts of the state inundated. International news. The World Bank and Bangladesh on Thursday signed five financing agreements worth over 1.1 billion to help the country achieve resilient and inclusive growth. Kathmandu Valley witnessed demonstrations in the Balku and Tinkune areas of the city with clashes between demonstrators of the two groups. Hindus across Nepal are observing the Haribodini Ekadashi on Thursday, a religious ritual dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu. As the curtains draw to a close on 23rd November, Paper World Middle East and Gifts and Lifestyle Middle East concluded their largest ever edition at the Dubai World Trade Center, leaving an indelible mark on the global paper, gifting and lifestyle industries. Britain's Foreign Office said in a statement that the newly appointed Foreign Secretary David Cameron is due to visit West Asia today and meet with Israeli and Palestinian leaders. North Korea has ripped up a five-year-old military pact with South Korea, aimed at lowering military tensions between the two countries. As the United Arab Emirates (UAE) gears up to host the 28th Conference of the Parties (COP28) in 2023. The National Security Advisor of Israel stated that the release of hostages under a temporary truce between Israel and Palestinian Hamas terrorists will not occur before Friday. Sports news. India's ace shuttler H. S. Pranoy advanced to the quarterfinals by beating Denmark's Magnus Johansson 21-12, 21-18 in the main single event in the ongoing China Masters badminton tournament in China. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated Roshibina Devi, Kushal Kumar, and Chavi for winning medals at the recently held 16th World Wushu Championship in the USA. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has congratulated the Indian para archery team for its best ever performance at the Para Asian Archery Championships in Bangkok. In cricket, India will take on Australia in the opening game of a five-match T20 international series at Visakhapatnam this evening. The match will begin at 7 p.m. Indian time. Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Anurag Singh Thakur has announced that the first edition of the Khelo India Para Games will be held from 10 to 17 December in New Delhi. Thank you. Have a nice day ahead. Like, share, and subscribe our channel.